Hello guys, this is Aman from Gyan. At Gyandan, we have helped 15,000 plus students in getting more than 5,000 crores till date. In one of our earlier videos, we talked about how secured loans are better than the unsecured loan. In today's video, we are going to talk about secured loan in more details. So let's start. Before we get started, I would like to take a moment to request you to subscribe our channel if you find our content useful. It inspires us to make more such video for students like. So we will start with what are secured loans. Secured loans are a type of education loan where when you are taking a loan, you are giving a security to the bank. It is also known as loans with collateral or collateral based education. Loan. When you are giving collateral to the bank, the bank has that sense of security that their money is safe and by any chance if they are not able to get the money back from the student they can sell the collateral and recover the money and thus the bank prefer secured loans as compared to an unsecured loans in general so now we will discuss what are the types of collateral security the one is immovable security the other is liquid security immovable security such as real estate property liquid security such as fd insurance policies or government bonds usually you can get 100 percent of the value of the collateral so for example let's say your property value is 50 lakh rupees then you can get up to 50 lakh rupees on the property same as if you are ready to offer fd of 10 lakh rupees you can get up to 10 lakh rupees and at times in cases even more than 10 lakh rupees on that FD as the liquid security. One of the most important aspect of a secured education loans are the documents and that to the documents of the collateral security. So most of the loans that gets rejected for a loan with collateral is because of the known availability of one document or another. So now we are going to discuss these documents in detail. So let's first talk about the documents from the applicant. So applicant as in the student. The documents that is required from the applicant are 10th mark sheet, 12th mark sheet. If you are going for masters, then undergrad mark sheet. If you are going for undergrad, then obviously you won't have undergrad mark sheet. Apart from that, any tests that you have given to secure the admission, for example, GRE, GMAT or IELTS and the mandatory documents such as Aadhaar card, PEN card and if you have a bank account, then the bank account statement. So those are the documents required from the applicant. The documents required from the co-applicant are as follows. The PEN card, Aadhaar card and bank statement and if the co-applicant is earning, then the income proofs. Usually when you are applying for a loan with collateral from the public sector banks, then income documents are not mandatory. And that is something that many students like because many people don't file the ITRs in place. But if you are applying for a secured loan from a private bank and NBFC, then the income documents are also mandatory. So the income documents that is needed is six month bank statement, ITRs of two to three years, salary slips if salary, if self-employed, then the business registration proof and other business related documents such as GST certificate will be required. If you are planning to give real estate property as the collateral, then the following documents will be needed. The first is sale deed. The sale deed is something that proves that you are the owner of the property. The second is chain deed. Now, if the property has had multiple owners in the last 30 years, then this chain deed will have the name of all the owners in place so that the bank can know the history of the property owner. The third is the tax receipt of the property. The fourth is allotment letter. And the fifth is occupancy certificate or the completion certificate that is needed when the property is constructed. Apart from that, location to location, many other property documents are required. And that is not something that is available at one place. Given we have helped so many students in the past, we have come up with a tool which can generate a customized document checklist as per the location of the property for you, which you can go and in one go collect all the documents, which is one of the major reason of the delays at the public sector bank for a secured loan. So our loan counselor will help you in getting this property document checklist on request. If you are planning to give liquid collateral as security, then the following documents will be needed. For FD, FD certificate, you will have to create the FD in the bank where you are getting the loan from. So if let's say if you have an FD at any other bank or any other financial institution, you will have to close that FD and make a new FD that is after the approval of the loan. So during the approval, they will just assume that you will create an FD and that will be one of the condition in the disbursement of the loan. Now, if you are applying for a loan with the insurance policy, then this will be needed. The surrender value certificate. 
the surrender value certificate is a certificate that tells if you have to liquidate your insurance policy today then this is the amount that you will get and basis that amount the bank will sanction them. if you're planning to give government bonds as the security then the bonds certificate will be required so what is the process of getting a secured education the first step is to check the loan eligibility on our website you will get to know instantly whether you are eligible for the education loan or not. Second step is to upload the documents and pass on the documents to our team. Now, if we are getting your education loan done from the public sector banks, such as SBI, Bank of Baroda, UBI, in such cases, they need the documents in person. For such a scenario, in nine major cities, we have our relationship officers who come to your home, pick up the document so that you don't have to go to the bank again and again. We can come to your home, your office or wherever you want to pick up this document. This is a service which is available free of cost for you. Once we collect the documents from your home and submit it into the branch, then we coordinate with the branch managers, lawyers to get the documents verified. So there are various reports that needs to be generated to get the secured education loan in coordination with various third parties. For example, valuation report, which is being done by a lawyer and an evaluator, which tells the bank that what is the value of the property. Once everything gets verified, all these reports get submitted to SBI RACPC, which is the center where they take the decision if the loan to be approved or not. And once they have all the documents and all the reports in place, they will be in a position to take a decision. If they approve the loan, then Gandhan team will get in touch with you, will let you know that your loan is approved. If the bank has any query, then obviously they will ask you to clarify those queries. So once the loan is approved, our relationship officer will help you in doing the post approval step, such as agreement signature, submission of the check or creation of the mortgage of the property at the local government body and then finally the disbursement. So our relationship with you is not only for the loan process but for the entire tenure of the loan. So if you face any problem in the future in the repayment or even in the subsequent disbursement you can get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help you out. So that's it for this video. If you find the content useful, I recommend you to like, share and also subscribe so that you can get the notification whenever we are releasing a video on abroad education. Thanks a lot.